All right. So in this video, I wanted to um, make a practical video about how to how to you know when when something's not working right for you, how do you figure out how to make it work? So what can what <laughs> what I mean by that is like hmm, I know there's a way to maybe like like I just want the year. I don't want this to be 2018 0101. I just want 2018. Like hmm, how, how would I do that? Um okay, well let's uh let's try to google that. And so what I would usually do is hmm, like what are we trying to do? And then I would put BigQuery at the end. So like, like um, extract year from date BigQuery. And usually there's a stack overflow on it, which has a lot of good questions. And there's also the BigQuery documentation that you can look at. So in the BigQuery documentation, you can read up about a lot of uh, different functions that are available to you in BigQuery. So here we're in the date function section. So this is all of the functions in BigQuery that work with the date, um, the date data type. So there's current date, there's extract. This might be what we're looking for. Extract returns the value corresponding to the specified date part. Um, this is a little bit confusing maybe, but you can see some examples where um, you're extracting the day from date. Hmm, like maybe, maybe there's be a, uh, a way to extract the year from that date using this. Like let's look at Stack Overflow. I would like to extract month and year, blah, blah, blah. Some of the answers. This kind of looks like what we need. Extract year from timestamp as casting it as string. So there's a way to do it here. And um, what I've found is if you read documentation word for word, it makes sense. But if you a lot of times if you're just like glancing at it and trying to figure it out really quick, you get a little frustrated not being able to figure it out. So if we read this slowly, word by word, word, we can probably figure out how to use this extract function. So extract part from date expression. Returns the value corresponding to the specified date part. The part must be one of day of week, day, day of year. So this part has to be one of these. So in this extract function, we have to either put like what we want to extract, the part. And what we want to extract is year. And then the date expression will be the column name because that's, that's what the date is that you're trying to extract the year from. So in these examples, um, You know, sometimes these examples aren't the easiest to read. So let's go back to BigQuery and see if we can figure this out. So let's do another column here. Extract. This is this is that function we saw in the documentation. We're not going to deal with time zones. But anyway, year, that's the date part. And how else did this, how did this work? From, and then the column name. You're from, the column name also happens to be year. So it's a little confusing, but this year is that date part year, and this is year. And then whenever you're doing something like in a function, if you don't label it something, it's going to, I'll show you, it's going to like give it some randomly generated name, F0 underscore. So what you get to do is like as year two or something. So see, that worked. So we were able to figure out how to extract that by Googling. 
So hopefully that's helpful. A lot of times Stack Overflow has a lot of the best answers, but you can usually figure out um, if you're diligent how the Google documentation works. And there's a whole bunch of other things you can explore in here to figure out uh, how to do things in BigQuery if you want to mess around in here, like um, string functions, probably some interesting ones in here. So you can read through all the different functions that work with strings. Um, so yeah, like lower, wonder what this does. For string arguments, returns the original string in lowercase, so you can wrap something in this and it'll make it lowercase. So you can you know, explore in here and figure out uh, how to do what you need to do by using the documentation and Googling.